Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me today is Chris Wright. He's the chairman and CEO of Defiance Silver. It's a publicly traded company. The symbols are DEF on the TSX Venture and DNCVF on the OTCQX. And Defiance Silver will be presenting at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, happening September 13th through 16th, 2022. For more information, please go to PreciousSummit.com. And with that, Chris, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm good, Robert. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Great to have you on. So before we get into the updates and everything, you know, for those who haven't seen any interviews that we've done together or heard of Define Silver, can you start us off with that quick overview of the company? Sure. The, uh, you know, sort of 30 second elevator pitch is that we're a, um, a Mexican focused exploration company. We um, we're fortunate that we have two standalone, what I would deem to be standalone company making projects, um, both located um in the heart of Mexico, um, our legacy asset is the uh, Zacatecas Silver Project, which uh, you know uh, predates my involvement with the company. Um, it's been augmented over the years. We've done a, a number of, of acquisitions and option agreements to significantly increase our footprint there and are actively drilling. Um, and our other project is also an advanced uh, gold copper project in the south, southwest of, of Zacatecas towards the coast. And uh, that's our Tapal Gold Copper Project. Also well advanced, nice resource on it, um, and we've got uh, some very high hopes for that in, in the future. Very good. So last time we did an interview together, we published that on September 15, 2021. So let's get that update. What would you say are some of the company's highlights and maybe milestones achieved in the last 10, 11, 12 months? You know, it's um, it's largely been driven by the drill bit. You know, we've got a fantastic uh, geological team. Um, you know, when I when I first joined the company in in 2019, uh, uh, as I joined the board of directors, and and shortly thereafter was asked to take on the role of CEO, we did a real um, you know a bunch of soul searching and, and analysis of of not only our, our our projects but also of our our personnel, and uh, we've essentially had a complete overhaul of both management and our geological team. So. Um, our team's very strong, very experienced, um, lots of success in Mexico over, over the years. And, and they've been actively drilling in Zacatecas, um, you know, since uh, the fall of uh, 2021, um, both uh, to uh, do with some res resource drilling on our, our existing San Acasio resource, but also some greenfield exploration on the Lucita property, which we uh, optioned for Pan American Silver, uh, which uh, was a very significant uh, um, transaction for us because it effectively tripled our, our land footprint in the package. And it's really one of the last untested um, land packages in, in the camp. So we've been starting to see some results come out of that. We, uh, we just put out the last eight holes of a 15 hole drill program on Lucita. Um, the results are very encouraging and, and uh, you know, definitely warrant more follow up. But we're very excited that we'll be pursuing that again this fall. And then uh, we're waiting on some results from uh, uh, a drill program we just finished up on on Santa Casio. We're hoping to have that out, um, you know, early in in September. But we'll we'll see. With the labs these days, you don't know when you're going to get that back. To close us out here today, from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's near term value catalysts that folks should really pay attention to moving forward? Again, more drilling, 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 and and uh, you know we've got uh, we've got um, a significant uh, drill budget uh, for us for the next year. We're well funded. Uh, we actually just uh, had some warrants that were expiring um, last week, and, and and the bulk of them were taken up, which is very good. A nice little cushion into the into the uh, the treasury. So our budget for the next twelve to eighteen months is is pretty set, and uh, we're we've got a lot of flexibility to continue to to pursue. Um, you know, the targets that the, the, the team comes up with based on, on existing results. So that's, that's largely where we're going to go. Uh, we like to put uh, our results out in batches so that we can tell more of a story on, you know, one of our, I guess, probably one of the, uh, the comments we get is that we don't put out enough news, but uh, we're not the kind of company who's just going to put out a news release for the sake of it. So uh, more to come um, and uh, stay tuned. Very good. All right. Well, Chris, where, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Defiant Silver? Um, the easiest place to check is defiantsilver.com. Plus, we're also very active on on social media, Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram. So we're, we're all over the place. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I'll see you in Beaver Creek. All right, Robert. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Thank you. And again, Divine Silver will be presenting at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek happening September 13th through 16th, 2022. For more information, please go to PreciousSummit.com.